Welcome to Cutting Corners. This is a conversation with Josh Rhodes from Groovy Marketing. Josh is a ClickFunnels affiliate, does a, a number of things as far as digital marketing is concerned. We're having a discussion about creating ad copy that drives the type of conversion that you want, be it on Google AdWords, on Facebook advertising, YouTube advertising, anywhere you can put a headline and some ad text accompanying it. You know, what is the process for arriving at the proper headline and the proper ad copy for your ideal prospect? And how difficult or impossible is it to do in the hour that most people take to set up an ad set or a campaign? This call is now being recorded. I don't pretend anymore after having run thousands of ads. All I know is I don't know a thing after running <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. It's, I always tell people, my, like my coaching clients or people I'm working with, like any marketer that tells you that they know what's going to work is either a liar, a cheat, or they don't know what they're talking about. You have to get in there between the muscle fibers of every single campaign, work out the knots, and then come back with an optimized approach. But for you to maybe drum up a volume of prospects, uh, I know you're looking at Facebook, and I think that's probably viable. Um, but it just popped into my head that if if you can leverage one of the following two opportunities, YouTube might be a killer. And that's if people are looking to do one of two things. One is informational and take action. They want they want to know how to set up a funnel, and and they've searched for funnel setup. Maybe they've even searched ClickFunnels or other tools on you, on Google so that it puts sure. them into the Google advertising universe, which means you can then retarget them on YouTube. Well, and um, also, just as a reminder, you and I connected because my, I also own a new company. It's a digital agency for real estate agents called agentleads.co. And my, my – I think you – I think this is the post you chimed in on to help out was I've got a – a high-end realtor trying to move a million dollar, one point two million dollar listing, and she's had it on the market for about ninety days. It's a hundred and thirty day, you know, cycle in the market that she's selling it in. And so, I just wanted to connect those dots because I know that you are you have a real estate marketing angle too, and that's kind of where I was at, I was coming from. Even was that's right. I you know what? You know what I mean? Forgive me. I didn't even. I have notes. And I didn't even bother opening them yet, but I forgot the actual post. I thought we were no, in more cool. of, a, of fa a Facebook ad forum. I forgot we were talking about a specific listing. Well, but, no, we were we were in the I, I posted it in the Facebook ad forum because we use Facebook to generate leads for real estate agents and have yeah. been pretty successful. But we no, I don't think anyone's really cracked the code on the high end yet. Um. We're basically all sub four hundred thousand dollar listings, and so um, there's something about a one point two million listing, you know. And that's that's where I was just kind of um, coming at the group, saying, "Hey, anybody got any innovative ideas?" And you you mentioned <laughs> yeah. YouTube, and I th I thought, okay, that because I was thinking video anyway, you know, like Facebook video ads should be the way you sell this house. However, um. In my neck of the woods in the southeast, we have uh, a, a tradition of really just poorly put together TV commercials or Sunday morning real estate listing infomercials that aren't done well. It's just basically slideshows, and I was just trying to think of a way to to sell this house without looking like white noise. Um, yeah, yeah. So anyway, well, I'll tell you what, that's great news, though, because it sounds to me like people are used to looking at not particularly well-produced, slick, like, marketing content around uh, real estate in your neck of the woods is what you're saying. Is, in, am I hearing you right? Yeah. Okay, so that's great, because then if – you know right now if you put something together above the half-decent bar – into the good and great bar, you're probably going to stand out. Um, man, I love that we're already talking about actual video content, too, because I do think it's important, and that's a huge part of my background and my overall philosophy. Um, 
here's 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 a nugget of gold to just put in your pocket for your own digital marketing purposes is people will not be offended by a bad picture. You're right. It might blend in with the stuff around it. That's why you need a mm. great screenshot for your cover. But you can mm. get away with lousy lighting and as long as your sound is clear. You can never film anywhere noisy. You can never film in your car with the windows open, stuff like that. But, man, if you've got good sound, people mm. will watch your video to the end. I've got, Interesting. I don't know, probably – I'm guessing uh, 300,000 or so views on, like, my personal YouTube. And what I can tell you is those are videos of varying degrees of quality, for sure, both audio and video. There's a lot of local music stuff filmed on a droid in a bar or a club with a whole band playing. So, I mean, the, the audio is all over the map. And then there's, like, business people doing interviews. But um, – the stuff that will get played from start to finish, the audio is crisp and clear. The picture is much less important. Anything with crummy audio is going to have a much higher abandonment rate. So you can get away with anything but crummy audio, and your videos should be, you know, usable for most purposes, um, even, you know, commercial. As long as it's in a blog or Facebook environment, the people just don't get offended if it doesn't look like you spent – Sure. The brand on uh, it's just that's the nice thing about all this exposure people have had to video in the last decade. So, um, so how would you go about grabbing the attention of uh, an affluent homeowner or home buyer? Because um, so I'm already, um, I guess, from a targeting perspective, like because we're already doing this, like I already have like the. I've got the targeting, like the geo targeting, the you know, the pure demographic, like the Facebook realm of and power of targeting. I think I kind of have that dialed in. How do I like? Do I do a video of me and the realtor walking through the house and just literally talking about the house? Do we have a VIP champagne cocktail party uh, at the house and market the, the the you know the event? Um, do we, do we get drones involved? Like I'm trying to figure out what's the angle and the message of the the video itself. Like I think we gotcha. would agree that video well, that's a great is question. a platform. You know what I mean? Yeah. What I'll tell you is, man, if you can start filming anything in any format and you're comfortable doing so and you're positioned and the content or the output of what you record is easy enough for you to edit so that you could do something like this ongoing, and maybe ongoing means weekly. Boy, I'll tell you, you'd love to be like Gary Vee and doing something every day, though, just for the sheer sure. foot, footprint you'd be creating after a year or two of posting a video slash podcast in five places a day. Man, that's that's really where I am. Um, look to be with my frequency of, of posting with calls like this because I'm just like, mm -hmm. my God, that's 1,500 posts I'm going to do in the next, you know, 300 days not working that hard on content. So if you can do either one of those things and you can do it in such a way that it's not going to be a murderous task to put it into a succinct, sellable version, um, in the editing phase, either you or somebody who's familiar with video, I mean, that's all you need to worry about. It's like don't shoot something that's going to be an absolute death match for the editor to wrestle with. Um, yeah. And, you, and, and you'll be able to put out content regularly. Like what I'm going to do with what, uh, this phone call right now is I'll put some accompanying slides. Um, boom, I've got a video. I'll cut out all the – every anytime you or I, I, I think it's only been me so far, says, um, and I possibly have sweared, um, although I'm not sure yet. It usually happens. <laughs> but um, and it goes the numb. So I'll throw those in the garbage, and I'm just cut, 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 cut. The other thing is sometimes the volume between me or you might be different, so that's a pain in the butt, and I'll have to put a cut in every transition and, like, bump you up or bump me up or whatever the case might be. So sure. that's as ugly as my situation gets with these podcast phone calls. And they're still a little dirty. I mean, I could probably use a different mic on my side. or I, I don't even know. I'm sure there's ways to create a, hot, uh, a cleaner crafted audio-video product. But 
like I said before, the audio is good enough that it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm yeah. getting thousands of watches on this stuff on Facebook, and I've only done seven of them. So that mm-hmm. tells me I need to do seven more this week. <laughs> sure. Um, so basically, it's just like get the property in front of a video camera with personalities involved. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll tell you this, though. For a real estate property, boy, I'm straddling the line between wanting to get professional lighting. Cause, or or you just need a good filter or video editor. But, I mean, lighting is everything. But if you if these are high-end properties, you probably don't have a problem with real lousy lighting in the living room you know they, these sure. places are probably presentable honestly dude i'd buy a freaking drone if i were you i would have i'd go get a 200 hundred dollar camera drone if such a thing exists and be flying it over these houses get pictures yeah. of every room either do a walkthrough with a realtor or do a party or do something that you can get out you know yeah. that's not gonna yeah. take two weeks to edit um Boy, I, I mean, I love that. I, I, but I honestly, you want to look different, a drone might be a good start because I'll tell you what, you're going to have one in three years anyway, and then you're not going to look different at all. If I'm in real estate, I'm boning up on my remote control skill set. Got it. Okay. Well, that's very but, possible. We've yeah, already, that's we've just like a, a, a Christmas uh, put that in my stocking kind of wish list thing. I mean, I'm glad I don't need to add that to my workload right now. I I've, I have hobbies. <laughs> but for you, man, that might help because some of these places could be compelling from the air if they have big yards or they're just structurally impressive. You don't necessarily get that from the street shot. Yeah, I agree. Okay. So basically, I mean, it, yeah, one commission's gonna one commission's gonna make that well worth your while. But anything, anything, even just a drone video with voiceover, I think is a good start. Whatever's quick and easy. Hell, honestly, man, walking through with your iPhone's a good start. Any of that yeah. stuff. If you want to be sort of retargeting people on YouTube, yeah. there's going to be two options. It's going to be there's you can appear in display, meaning. You'll be a recommended video near a video on the same topic, or you'll be displayed in almost like a Google AdWords format at the top of search results on YouTube. So if somebody searched for sure. how do I build a three-page funnel, your, ad, your video might appear on top of that in a sponsored format. Now, here's the thing. This is the trick to the making money on YouTube with advertising, is if somebody asks you how to build a three-page funnel, the ad you show them better teach them from start to finish how to build a three-page funnel, or it better so at least all, get them through all about step one. Yeah, exactly. Not only that, but how much do you accomplish if somebody spends, and, and I'm talking minimum, 10, 15 minutes on these videos, and likely more. So I've started doing, you know, the screencast, Camtasia stuff where I'm showing people, yeah, sure. man, set up a real estate website in 20 minutes. I'll show you 20 minutes how to do a real estate website. Knowing that a smaller percentage will build a real estate website than will then contact me or fill out a form and end up getting one from me because they don't even have time to worry about it kind of sure. thing. Um, and I can then sell them a YouTube ad program. Then I can sell them a Facebook ad setup. But if they've sat there and listened to me make myself credible and be very useful to them setting up a website in 20 minutes, the link at the end of that video is going to get lots of clicks. You can also target channels. Now, this is tough because you have to do a good bit of research and find a channel that's on topic enough for you to be interested in its viewers that hasn't blocked YouTube from putting ads on it because it's commercial. It. So there might be like bloggers or re- probably not reviewers, actually. I'm thinking most reviewers now are affiliates, so they're probably going to block ads. But you know sure. what I'm getting at. So you want to pick specific channels to get your – pre-roll in front. Now, the pre-roll hack, which somebody posted under my comment on Facebook, they took a guess and they said, is it free ads for like 10 seconds? It's 30 seconds. If you put a call to action in your pre-roll ads, now this isn't the 10 or 15 or 20 minute explainer videos, 
that you want to do for search on YouTube. These are right. just associating with thing with to get in front of people you know are in the market. So these are pitches. Totally different format, much shorter. And here's the thing. You want to make your pitch in the first eight seconds. You mm. want to say, hey, realtor, I've got, I've got a marketing hack that will save you all the hours it takes to find and compose posts about good real estate stuff that's going to make you look good and sound professional. If you're interested, you know, watch this. If you're not interested, click here and go right to the video you were going to watch. And as long as you can get them to either go through or abandon in the sure. first 30 seconds and, you know, get right to the point. Be like, hey, I'm here to, I'm here to talk about this because I think you're in the market for such and such, and here's how I can help you. Stick around if you're interested. If you're not, go ahead and watch your stupid video. Um, is, is the whole is the whole way to approach pre-roll. You just want to get right to the point. It's okay to sell because the way you're going to be targeting them, hopefully you've done a good enough job because they're really in the market. Um, but that's, it's, it's, I'm all about it. I'm putting that together for a couple different products right now. I've had success with Facebook advertising in the last month since I've started testing on my own products. But like I said, my system, the product I'm, I I didn't even build my funnel or my pages for what we're talking about as far as the Facebook tool until last week because all of a sudden I answered somebody's question in that Facebook ad group and there were like several people who were like, oh, I would do that today. I want that right now. Tom, do you do do that? What's your number? And I was like, oh, man. I'm like, I built my funnels in the wrong order. (laughs) <laughs> I'm like, I'm like I, it's the first thing I said. I was like, in fact, I turned off a Facebook ad set the following day for a real estate product and said I have to get back into ClickFunnels, set up the interface, which includes a detailed questionnaire where you build out your client persona and it helps you come up with the really engaging copy regardless of the format of your ad. To, to drive click through. Sure. So as long as your targeting is good, click through is good. Like that's the that's the double edged sword with my services. If you're t- if if you just took what I provide to you and your targeting was way off base, good lord, you know, creating copy that really drives click through is not doing you a favor at that point. Well, but you'd figure you'd figure that out soon enough. Sure. Well, Tom, this has been awesome. I got th- it's it's right on the cusp of my new my next phone call um what's your website real quick before i jump off um it's the it's actually going to be ad pixel pro for the advertising stuff i didn't i haven't launched the youtube product i don't have it on a domain yet and then my blog is at find click call so find click call and then ad pixel pro for the product i think i originally found you thinking of that then merged into a YouTube conversation, but I know you've got to run. It's been a, it's please been a let great me know. pleasure. P- please send me a Facebook message when you launch your YouTube product. We'll do. We'll do. It's going to be in the next couple of days because it's the membership it. area is already set up. I've got the resources there. I just haven't put together all the payment options, and I actually haven't landed on a price. Let me know as soon as you do. Will do. Take care. Thanks, Tom. Bye. Bye-bye.